What's going on YouTube? Prometheum HD here. Today I'm playing some Dying Light. I've been playing a bit of Dying Light a little bit more lately. I mean, I had the game since it came out and I was bored of it. But they came out with a new DLC called the Bozak Cord and another one where you got um, some gold tier fantasy weapons if you could find them. And also a, um, a uh, Parkour Fever. It was a free DLC actually in an update. I don't see how it would be a free DLC if it came in an update. I'm just going to call it a the parkour update but anyways this is on well next gen current gen playstation 4 you can also do this on xbox but today i'm going to be telling you how to get the um how to get gold tier weapons gold tier fantasy weapons and just gold tier weapons in general i haven't seen any videos out lately or anytime soon about how you can get these or in great description on how you can get these i mean they were in a little bitty detail of description on how to get these but from here I'm going to show you how you can find them to get them and what you're going to want to do is if you have a normal game like if your game is put in normal that's not going to work see how mine it says all the stats my level and my difficulty says normal it can't you can't be on normal you um you're not able to be on normal to find gold tier weapons so if you want to be able to find gold tier weapons you're going to have to um Right under continue, go to play campaign and press square for advanced settings. You see you can do new game plus, which is, um, <coughs> you know, where you can start at the beginning of the game, but with your character and with all your stuff, but the enemy are harder. The game gets harder. And, well, restart from quest just means you can restart your whole game with the same character. But anyways, you want to come right here and you want to do play on hard difficulty. You want to change your difficulty from normal to hard. So that's basically what we're going to do real quick. <sighs> Loading in. Alright, here we are, and I actually spawned with one in my hand. But anyways, the best place, I believe, um, where I found my gold weapons, and I've got more than this, they're just over at storage, but the best place that you can get them from is you can find them in police vans, and you can also find them in several other places. Um, you can get them out of police vans, you can get them out of police cars from the back of them, um, and you can also get them out of uh what are they called whenever you get invaded um you can you have a high chance of getting this sword right here whenever you get invaded um and it, but you have to win the invasion the uh the zombie that invades you or the player that invades you can't back out of the game you have to destroy all the nests now it's not going to give you um a gold weapon every time you get invaded like maybe let's say you get invaded five times in a row one of those times you're gonna get a gold fantasy weapon and you never know what it will be it can be several different things another way that you can um get gold weapons is if you go to the revamped um the revamped what are they called quarantine zones you can actually get a gold weapon from revamped quarantine zones and the way you do that is, it's not just by completing, it's mainly just by you have to open up these blue boxes that have GRE glowing on the side. If you pick lock those, they're very hard. You have a high chance of getting them from there. Gold weapons, I mean, you got a pretty, it's a pretty decent chance, I should say. Um, a way you can farm it is you can have a friend join you as a zombie, invade you, and you can just run around the map pick locking vans you you can do that but I mean it'd be a little boring and not that fun but that way there won't be any zombies you'd have to deal with you just get to pretty much run around and pick lock for the stuff and another way that you can get the gold weapons is you can um 
kill a demolisher. Demolishers also drop them. They're more likely to drop, you know, the heavy fantasy weapons such as this that I'm holding now, which is the Axe of Titans. Oh, he dealt a good bit of damage. But the thing you gotta worry about is, whenever you're in hardcore mode, you don't instantly get your health back. If you see up at the top left-hand corner of the screen, I have a health pack emblem right there. That means I'm being healed. And it's not gonna give me as much health as it would give me in normal mode. It doesn't, you know, do it like that. It's actually quite a slow process. But this is a way that you can get gold weapons is by killing these guys and or and or getting killed by them because they're pretty they pretty much do two hit kills um <coughs> you also you also have a better chance of getting gold weapons if you do it alone if you don't have anybody doing it with you if you have no one in your game you have a higher chance because the chances decrease due to there's four people which can do four times the searching so it decreases your chances of finding one so if you don't have anybody in your game that's you know a great improvement you you have more of a chance of finding a gold weapon or not which is what you're looking for a high chance of well finding a gold weapon but yeah there's also been some rumors going around that gold weapons have unlimited health. That's actually very untrue. Let me just go on over. See, this tribal knife has 112 dur durability, which means I can um do 112 attacks before I have to repair it. And it's got a 200 handling, yada yada. The battle axe does 112 durability. The blade of order does 112 durability. And the skull mace has 154. Now, some gold weapons cannot be repaired, such as the skull mace cannot be repaired. And the smack hammer cannot be repaired. It um, really sucks. But it is what it is. Ooh. But that's pretty much a great deal on how to do it by looting GRE crates. Um, I don't know about the drop crates. I haven't found one in a drop crate yet. But I've mainly found them on demolishers, getting invaded, blue GRE crates, and police vans. But that's pretty much the best way you can find them. I'm going to kill these two and see if I'll get a gold weapon before I end this video for you guys. Just, you know... You know, you never know, so I'm gonna do it anyways. Just go ahead and keep on hitting them with explosives. Oh. Look at that. Oh, you failed. Yeah, the thing is about hardcore is uh they don't they don't like to die. It takes a good bit to kill demolishers. Oh my god. When are you gonna die? You see this? It's just, it's a constant thing. This is what you do for gold weapons. Ah, shut up. Hi, I blew your rock up. How'd you still throw it? He's got the force. Oh crap. Ah. Killed myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much how you find gold weapons because a lot of people have been asking how to find them. 
so and so. Oh, also, you have the highest chance of getting a gold weapon <coughs> in, um, you know, by getting invaded while in hard mode than you do any of anything else. You have a higher chance of doing that, getting a, uh, golden weapon. Okay. Not sure what just happened there. But I died. Pretty quick. Pretty pretty quickly. Let's see. There they are. Got one. Oh dang, if he just wants to sit there, I'm fine with that. Oh my god. It's like I'm doing no damage. All right, let's go ahead and search them. Let's see what we get. Oh. And nope, we didn't get any. But anyways, like I said, there's a very low chance of getting them. That's just where you can find find them. That's where I found them. I found the rune hammer on one of them. Let's go ahead and just drop them, quick. But that is um your best way. You want to find a gold weapon. That's how you find them. That's um I told you a way to farm them, and that's by letting a friend invade you and just winning the invasion. You can do that. You can let a friend invade you and just keep winning beating him in the invasions and destroy all his nest and you have a high chance of getting that if you but you have to do it in hard mode but you can have a high chance of getting a gold tier weapon or gold tier fantasy weapon doing that and um that's pretty much how you get your gold weapons you got to find them that's why they're really that's why you rarely see them but you got to find your gold weapons and that's how you get a hold of them i mean so I got a hold of mine. It's my favorite right here. White and gold. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Please go down and backhand that like button. Beat the shit out of that subscribe button. It'd be a real great help. I'm over and I am out.